Hi, I'm Chris and this is Jim and we're Midlife Travel Bug and today we are in the beautiful seaside town of Albufeira, Portugal. Albufeira is in the Algarve in the south coast of Portugal and this town is spectacular. What an amazing beach. Uh, just walking through the town we noticed this is a party place so if a uh, lot more activity a lot more stores a lot more people but also quite picturesque and beautiful at the same time now this area is kind of right in the middle of the Algarve if you come down to this coastline so keep that in mind yeah right in between Lagos and uh, Faro. Faro so directly in the middle um, there's a bunch of coves, there's a bunch of beaches around this area. Lots We're... of activities, lots of things to do, day tours and things and sights to see. But we're going to take you around this city and see, see what other things we can show you. And this beautiful October sunny day. Yes. just in the marina district of Albufeira. It's about a 10 minute walk over from the main city in the beach area. Um, pretty cute colorful buildings. Um, the, all the, sh the boats are in the marina here. Looks like lots of uh, restaurants and places to sit and have a drink as well. So colorful. So colorful. It, we weren't quite expecting this. Yeah, we walked around the corner. But, uh, yeah, so we just walked away from Centro and kind of walked up the hill and we saw the little fisherman's part of the marina and then around the corner you see where the big yachts are and, and these 
all these apartments with pools and everything like that and restaurants but it's so colorful it's pretty I think pretty it's cool. probably a pretty busy place in the summertime we're here in uh, the end of October so it's a little bit quieter but still pretty lively place Seems like a good area if you have kids because there's lots of arcade games and lots of little like go-karts and bumper cars and all that stuff. So it might be a good area to stay if you're traveling with younger kids because I think the Centro is more the older kids playground. Looks like you can rent some uh, houseboats as well if you're in the marina area and you don't want to stay near the centro or the beach area. They got these uh, houseboats, they got little sun decks on top and might be a fun little place to rent. Other than that, it's a pretty remote area of Albafira and if you were to stay here, you'd probably want to be closer to the action, kind of in the central area. Okay. We just walked on the other side of Old Town. There's some escalators that take you up, so you're higher up above the beaches. But a whole other boardwalk along here it looks like a lot more restaurants as well. And a lot of benches, you can just sit and watch the waves. And, and that's pretty cool. And people are just sitting and having a coffee, a beer, maybe a vino. Look, that place is for sale. We could buy that one. Nice. So we just wrapped up our day here and had a beautiful time. The views from the cafes on the edge of the cliff are beautiful, the beach is wonderful. The town itself is super cute, so make sure you take the time to walk around some of the back streets and see some of the little churches as well. Uh, Albufeira is definitely a busier town at night, so um, it is full of nightclubs, full of bars and everything like that. So if you want a little quieter beach destination, maybe this isn't the place for you. But if you want a little action and everything, this is definitely a place that you can get that as well. So for us, we're staying down the road. We're not staying here, but it was really cool to check this place out. No shortage of restaurants and everything. Just want to say thank you to everybody for watching. And uh, hopefully you hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. But we look forward to taking you on the rest of our adventures through Portugal. Thanks again, everybody, for watching this, and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Hey, baby.